Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Cancer for the month of April 2010. And this also applies if you have a Cancer ascendant. So you Cancerians, a lot happening this month. There's a lot happening astrologically and it's certainly going to be affecting you in different areas of your life. Particularly relationships are coming under sharp focus. They have been for a while, but even more. And your work career, your life path, where you're going to and your finances. So Mars is in your second house all, house all month and finally it's gone direct. So this is going to feel as though you've got a lot more energy and insight and passion to be putting into your earning capacity. Some new ideas as how you can make money, really being creative. Mars is in Leo, so it's coming up with inventive, creative ideas in which you can make money. And also looking at your values. What's important to you, Cancerians? Are you living according to those values or have you just taken on too much? And very much this month, you do need to look at your responsibilities, your commitments, where you've taken on too much and you're starting to feel confined. This particularly relates to anything connected with your home and your family. Saturn in Virgo as well. It also means, um, have you taken on too heavy a work schedule? You need to renegotiate maybe some of those commitments. Saturn goes retrograde on the 7th of the month and it's retrograde until July. So this is an important time for you now to reassess what you've taken on responsibility wise and make sure you're not taking on anything too new right now. Try not to take any new things on. Try to perfect the things that you've already taken on and then you'll be able to move forward and feel a little bit freer because I'm feeling that many of you are feeling quite confined and as though you're not able to move with that, that freedom and that cardinal energy because you're, you're really quite an initiator and you haven't been able to do that because you've been feeling quite weighed down and bogged down lately. Um, we've got sun until the uh, 20th of the month in your 10th house. So this is a great time to be putting energy into your career. If you don't know exactly where you're supposed to be going, then it's time to explore the different things that you're really interested in. Look at your interests, look at what you're passionate about, and then turn that into a career. That's the best way, really. Make your work what you really love to do. And things are moving forward much better now with Mars having gone direct. You should find that things are moving forward and in a way almost moving forward too fast and you're having just to slow them down a little. Then we've got a lot of planets after about the 20th of the month into your 11th house, Cancerians. And this is a great time to really think of thinking about your dreams, your wishes. What is it that you're wanting around you? Do you have the right kind of friends and people around you who encourage you, who lift you, who appreciate you? And if you don't, well, it's time to start looking for new horizons, to join different organisations, to join groups where you have like-minded interests. We've also got Mercury going retrograde from about the 17th, 18th of the month. And this is really important that before that time, you get done any legal documents, anything that's an important job interview, anything that's connected to computers, to travel, any travel arrangements, try and get those organised before the 17th, 18th of the month, because Mercury retrograde just means that if you don't get them organised before that, you may find that you're repeating things. You often have to repeat retrograde, repeat things. So try to get things done beforehand and then you won't have those frustrations after the 18th of the month, then it's a great time for any deep research. It's a time for completions, for any projects that you've started, they will complete, they can complete during this period. And it's also a good time for clearing out any clutter, getting your closet sorted and cleaning and clearing out very much. One of the most important things I need to address with you this month, Cancerians, is the fact that Pluto goes retrograde from the 5th of the month. Now, it's a long transit of Pluto in your seventh house of relationships, but this is an important time now to start looking at where you give away your control and your power in your relationships. And there are areas where you're doing this, where you feel as though you're being dominated or manipulated. And you need to look at these patterns because when Pluto goes retrograde, it's about looking at ancestral patterns looking at family history patterns where you're repeating destructive behaviours in your relationships. 
You may need to have counselling or you may need you may be giving other people counselling about this. But this is going to be a serious area that for you to start to look at and to do some inner soul work on that area in your life. So there you have it, Cancerians. It's, it's a wide gamut of things going on, what with your earning capacity, with Mercury retrograde, with your relationships, with your career path. It's, it's all coming up. So it's going to be a busy month, quite exciting, I think, Cancerians. And I wish you a wonderful month. And for those of you that would like a personal reading, because remember, these are just generalised forecasts each month. You might just need a mini reading or an in-depth reading or a relationship reading. Please take a look at my website. And I thank you very much for listening. Bye for now.